it was popping. So the year prior to last year, my laptop got wrecked. Well, it's been a month now, and here it is. My, this is the laptop I'm using. The same one I've been using for the past five, six years. And it's working. I lost a lot of my old data, but a lot of that was outtakes or it's already stuff that's been on YouTube. But one thing that is gone that I'm kind of salty about losing is our text files. Because that had all my scripts and all the lit stuff that I had cooking up, all the copy pastas, all the wavy stuff. But in terms of videos, there was like one video for a Let's Play that I was never really going to do. And that's the only thing that's really gone. Everything else I could probably download it again. Even then, I think the dude who was repairing my laptop, he has a flash drive with all the content that's been gone. So, I don't have GarageBand on this shit no more. I don't have iMovie, I think. I don't have any of that stuff. But, a lot of that stuff really doesn't affect this channel anyway. I stopped using iMovie to make these videos and have switched to QuickTime Player. And I think that does a far better job. The one thing that's been holding me back this month, which kind of has me salty, is that I really don't know what to talk about. I'd say I had this problem since 2014. Like 2014, that first half, I was just making non-stop video, just content after content after content. Just ranting about some of the dumbest shit, and I was repeating myself way too often. But I was also on my grind. Like 2014, I was gaining no subs. It was just losing some subs and then gaining others which is probably the result of my switch in beliefs becoming more apparent. But then the whole Artiste thing happened and people started subbing to me because I became a meme. And that's kind of funny because I checked and there was like a meme page called Facebook, you know, YouTube screenshot, it's on Facebook and one of my old school Mr. Wonka 7 videos got memeified too and I think that's kind of funny. So, what else? Yeah, after a while I just started doing nothing but Let's Plays, and while I wanted to do that, I'm stuck with a doo-doo-ass old school operating system on this. Like, I had the operating system that I was going to use cooked up, but I had to, like, delete that because my shit died mid-downloading and it wasn't working right. So I want a really good operating system to make those Let's Plays again. But I know that's not what people sub to me for. I use the Let's Plays and the other discussions on other topics to shit post, but people want to see me talk about edgy political stuff. That's, that's what's popping for my channel. Y'all don't sub to me to be like, I, I want to hear this guy talk about, I don't know, big booties. Only like my diehard subscribers will watch me make a video about just about anything. That's like the people who like my all my videos and watch each and every single one of them, all three of them. But the thing is that... I should be more respectful for you time. Like, even now, I'm not even editing this video up. This is a straight-up raw recording I'm doing on QuickTime. Even when I had the software to edit stuff, I didn't really use it. That's abusive, man. I'm, I'm fucking y'all up. I can't be doing that. Anyway. As usual... I do Q&A's for a reason, it's because people like hearing me talk about stuff and
they like hearing me rant about stuff. If you guys want me to talk about something politically charged or just about anything, that's why I have those Q&A things. Those ask me anything. It's not because I'm like these Tumblr users where they got the ask me anything section because they're bored. They got no friends. And they want someone to play 20 questions with them because they don't got nothing going on. Oh no, it's because... I'm not one of these podcast guys who has like the list of talking points on him at all times. I need something to talk about if I'm going to make a channel based on me talking about stuff and ranting about stuff. That's one thing I'm learning to accept about myself. I am a ranter. I give out my opinions in a disorganized fashion, like, that's me. Some of these guys are a lot more academic or organized in how they present their views, and it's good because it's intuitive. People are more likely to listen to three hours of raw conversational stuff if it's organized in a way. Like, Stefan Molyneux, the way he has that, like, blue... In that blue screen, it's kind of like a PowerPoint, Microsoft Office thing he's doing. And he's presenting his content that way. That's how you do it if you're going to make long videos. But me, I make those long, disorganized videos like Mad Dad and all these other autists who, who I'm thinking that's, that's what I want to be. So I'm, I got to accept that about myself. And TBH, I got 200 subs. I know some of y'all have already accepted that about me, and y'all have been fiending for me to post content. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, this has been Mr. Wonka 7. Suck my dick.